Hey, what's going on guys? And I'm gonna be bringing you another money making guide today And we're gonna be doing some unfinished potions today I'm gonna put up a list of some of the herbs that work and some that do not work The ones in red on the left hand side are the ones that I would not recommend doing at all and Just kind of staying away from the ones in the green are what you're gonna want to do and those are in order I don't have the levels up on screen, but you could check on your Herbler skill tab and just see what Herbler level you need for certain ones. I do dwarf weed for this video and you need 70 for that. As far as what is the best at the moment, I do not know and prices are always going to be changing and fluctuating. So you're going to have to do a little bit of research on your own and see what works the best for money wise. And one thing I definitely highly recommend for this video is when you do end up getting your herbs done don't just panic sell them at the lowest price because you can have people in there that have their offers in for very low price and end up just buying them immediately there's not that many people that make unfinished potions for 2007 that's kind of surprising to me considering there was actually a ton of people that did it in moonscape 3 so definitely when people want to train herb lore typically they're rich people and they don't mind paying a little extra just to get their unfinished potions they do not want to put herbs in their in their water they just want to literally just level 1 to 99 really quick most of the time people that do go for 99 are already pretty much billionaires in RuneScape and that's showing the price check after I did one load of them basically So this is how long it took me to do them in 41 seconds. That's what's on my timer. So this actually did not even take me an hour. I didn't feel like going back and buying more herbs though. So I just want to show you guys the time that it took me to do 2,000 of these. And let's go ahead and run to the Grand Exchange and sell them. Alright, so they ended up selling overnight. I don't know how long it actually took to sell, but I just put them in before I ended up going to bed. And then just dropped them in the Grand Exchange and woke up the next day and they were pretty much done. But I'm going to go ahead and subtract with how much all the stuff costs to make these. Which would be 3,650,000 coins. that's adding on the vials of water that cost to make them and 650k is my total I made for 41 minutes of this video so like I said you can make a pretty good money making doing this you know I can make a pretty cool mill I would say that's probably about a mill an hour that's doing the dwarf weed like I said you can make more with other herbs you can make less with other herbs so it all depends on what you do so you're definitely gonna have to do some research on what you're gonna be doing first just throwing that out there but that's it for this video and if you guys want to subscribe and like this video I'll be still making more I still got a good five or six more that I'm testing so definitely don't think I'm running out of ideas they keep coming up to me and literally these things keep flying at me like Every day I'll get like another idea or something and I'll go and test it and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So definitely I have a lot more to come so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're liking these videos and I'll see you guys with a new video later.